Hello, and welcome back to Corpse Party. Last time, we, uh, we reached the other side of, uh, we reached the west wing of the school, and, uh, Big Brother is now, uh, missing. It's, uh, what's his name? Suck him. Uh... Sakato, I think. I think I remember his name. I forget. Uh, now we're playing as Yuka, and we're getting away from, uh, what's his name? Morishige, I think. I don't remember. And we died in this bathroom, so we're gonna avoid it and go this way. Whee! I feel like I'm going to burst. Okay, chief. Do we want to go this way? Nope. Okay, that answers it. <laughs> I'm going to burst. Yay! Hide under there. Also saving here, just in case. Just hey, you never know. Shit. Nope. Okay. Walking your path. Shit. Do we need to go to- <gasps> Oh! Fuck! Yeah. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Who the fuck are you? Big Brother, you lied! You lied to me, you said you wouldn't leave me by myself. Yeah, you're not him. Eh? Are you injured? That's not my Big Brother. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm Yuki Machida. Mine's you. Yuya Kazumi. I'm a 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 yeah. <laughs> you poor girl. I've also become separated from my little sister. I'm presently searching for Oh, is she dead? Your little sister, is she is in here? Sniffle. She is. Did she die? If you'd like, you can make up with me. We'll search for your big brother along the way. In a place like this, after all, the living should stick together as much as possible. My poor sister's probably off somewhere crying right now, just as you are. You certainly must find her. What do you say? Will you join the hunt? Will you join the hunt? Uh, yes please. Help me find my big brother. I will, if you're not. I'm certain we will cross his path. Okay. Alright, now we're this dude. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's save then. Just, just so I can skip the cutscene if it happens again. And I don't have to mash A like a madman. Okay. Yes, it'll be overwritten. That's absolutely fine. Now we got this cool looking dude that looks like he's. He has this. jacket, I wanna say. <laughs> I guess. So, let's go this way. Let's go back in here. Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> I wish I was a boy. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, are we gonna run into this nerd? Again. We're gonna run into um, Morishige, whatever his name is. I'm just gonna call him Morishige for now. The one with the glasses and dark uniform. Pretty sure that's his name. Pretty sure we can't open that yet. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. She's not breathing. Her eyes have a hollow appearance, and them yet still retain a small, tiny echo of life. A tiny echo of life, and reflect a palpable certain sense of terror. It almost seems as if she could snap out of it at any moment. She stand up and walk away. The corpse is so fresh, simply being in its presence is disquieting. Get a grunge. Are you all right? This is terrible. 
ゆかちゃん子供たちの幽霊は見た。校内の張り紙やダイイングメッセージを僕もいろいろと調べたあの子供たちを殺害した大人の霊もいるんだ。こ鉄槌を持った大きな。どうやらそいつが犯人の霊だ。僕の仲間も。何人も何人も。とにかく、バラバラでやると、何が起こるか分からない。僕の妹と、君のお兄さんを見つけよう。お兄ちゃん、大丈夫。私は、あなたは、私は、あなたは、I'm pretty sure it's like scrambled words or something, but I'm not gonna spend the time to read it. Right, I already read this, even though. Whatever. Alright, continuing on. Let's see, rooms we haven't gone. Why is this here? Huh? Wasn't this inside the artwork before? どうしたんだ What's the matter?、Uh, um, no, nothing. Just, probably just my imagination. Yeah, why the fuck is this outside? Is there. The fuck? Three. Okay, that's not help. Anything else extra in here? No? Okay, cool. Fine. Also, a nice effect of、uh, placing an object there to make you fucking freaked out and wonder what the fuck that is and why it's there. It also gives you a nice hint to say, hey, go in there, because it's actually a pretty crucial hint, I guess. Ooh! Taking a corpse on, on the thing. Cody! Alright!、Oh, oh, yeah, she's dead. Oof. I guess we did、I、find、don't. her, but she's dead, so. Oof. Okay. Continuing through here. So、I'm pretty sure the principal's office is not going to be open unless, well, it's unlocked. Also, I'm guessing that the president probably has something to do with the killing. I think. Maybe. And Morishige is probably like the last name or something. I don't know. Because I don't fucking trust him. He's evil. Well, well. We're、yes. not getting past this on our way, so. <coughs> Whoa. Damn. Damn, son. Oh, I guess we didn't need to go all the way around. <laughs> Shit, dude. <clears throat> didn't think we had to go that way, at least. Can't go up. Nothing. Neat. So there's absolutely nothing. Here, there is suicide site. Oh, it's this. We have to go. We're not getting through this on our way, so. <coughs> yup. Whoa. What the fuck is that on? Fucking. Eh! There we go. What is these for? Why do we need to move that? I don't understand. Why is that there? I know it's for him, but why? For what purpose? There are a few sentences scribbled on the surface of the desk. Kiora, be very careful around the green goo splattered all over the floor. It can kill you. I ran into a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them, all attendants join hands, then. And only then will it be safe to traverse the accursed green goo. Whenever I see the sorrowful bodies of those who died here, I feel as I might go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive these ordeals, live. A pair of shoes with faint, nearly impeccable bluish glow catches your eye from under the desk. Take them. Yes, these are the shoes. Blessed shoes. Uh oh. Great. Let's, uh, check the piano, because hey, why not? No soul to be seen. No one needed. Okay. That ain't just, uh. Someone just face planted on, like, a 
fucking D chord. I don't know. Okay, now we know what this is for. Now I guess we know where to go. So that's cool. And where's their cursed green goo again? I th it's first floor, okay. Wait, no. Yeah, it's first floor, so we have to go down. Okay. Cool. Cursed green goo. Oh, wait, no, it's second floor. Okay. Alright, save again. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah, first floor. Uh, this is first floor, this is second. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, can we use these, uh... Blessed shoes to walk through this door. Nope. Okay. I also thought there'd be a neat reaction, I guess. Also, I thought this was his sister, so... I was like, well, she's probably already dead. But, I guess not. So, I'm wrong. I'm probably gonna be wrong a lot in this, but... Yeah, it's fine. Except, uh, glasses do be evil. I'm pretty sure he is. Because... Who does that? Yeah! Fuck you, Green Goo. And what's this? Sparkling on the ground. Get up. Hell yeah. Crystal unsealing. Ooh. What seems to be the problem? I uh, really have to go to the bathroom. What? Oh, don't tell me you're holding it in all the time, have you? I've been holding it in for like three episodes. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, Bye -bye. Well, we'd best find you a place to relieve yourself. Then. Though I think you recall, your, our options being rather limited. Yeah. Permanent records. The door is affixed to the wall like a decorate. Okay, we can't go in there. Wait, what is this? Permanent records? Yeah, permanent records. Keep note of that. <laughs> That's probably important. I'm guessing later on in the game we have to go there and like find out who's this and we have to decide who. Hmm. Okay, I know where this is going because I know exactly where it is. Over here. Boom. This old scene was shattered. Take the charts attached to the door have completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Seems, un seems usable now. Will you be alright by yourself? Uh huh, I'll be okay. Oh, is this the girl's laboratory? Get to it then. I'll be waiting here, here for you. Thanks. You're gonna die? Oh, you dick. Is it really you? Kurosaki. You're a sight alive. Who the fuck? Ah! You too? Man, are, you are, are you a sight for sore eyes? I thought you were, uh, more Seagate, uh, what's his name? Glasses. For a second, I was like, you dick. Finally, someone else who isn't dead for God for God forsaken place, that is this. That this is. Okay. Cool. I was at my wit's end just now, let me tell you, outside of the school, there's nothing but trees, as far as the eye can see. I thought about braving the wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. So what the hell is this place anyway? Damn all. There are actual honest and goodness ghosts in here, you know? Their spirits actually so I don't know. I think we may have be stuck here for good. There's no way out for any of us. Did you see? Mitsuki in the next room. She's dead. Yeah, I saw. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number, a certain number of dead bodies that a person is expected to see. A person's expected to see within his lifetime. I swear, in the last hour alone, I far surpassed my quota. Uh, just yesterday, Mitsuki, 
ここでは。あいつらに殺されるのは。俺に殺されるのは。どうせ。死ぬんだからな。どうせ。死ぬんだからな。どうせ。死ぬんだからな。どうせ。死ぬんだからな。どうせ。死ぬんだからな。どうせ
この犯人の局の男は同校教師と校長の子息であり生来快活な性質であったが起因する要素が全く不明の突発性の脳障害から年々教員として弁を振ろうことが困難になっていた事件の数ヶ月前より別の就職先を探す日々を続けていたが結果は芳しくなく日中町内を取材などにふらふらと歩いているところが何度も目撃されていたようだ。男は入所後数ヶ月で、看護医たちの隙をついて、療養施設から脱走。天神小学校の地下室に入り込み、首を切って自殺した。この事件で殺された児童たちは、ほとんどが天神症の生徒たちだったが、犯人逮捕時に寸でのところで救出された女児は、天神症の生徒と事件後、他県に移っていったとされている悪い噂の立ってしまった天神小学校の不運はその後も収まらず忍び込んだ変死者による強姦事件や自殺の舞台として利用されたため生徒数が大幅に減りついには廃校に追い込まれた当時60歳になっていた校長は自らの屋敷の襖や壁畳などの。意味不明の文字の羅列を書き殴るなど、気候が目立っていたが、廃校決定のその翌日、天神症の屋根から飛び降りて自殺してしまった。首の骨を折り、即死だったよ、賛美極まる事件で。私はこの一連の事件の陰に、人知を超えた力の動き。巨大なる呪詛の側面を見て、鍵を握る人物の嫌が、現場で同い年の子供たちが惨殺されるのを目撃してしまった、不幸なる生存者。事件を生き残った赤い服の少女。怪奇事件ルポライターの私が機会をいただいた本視点の連載は始まったばかり。このまま追跡取材を進めてみたいと思う。続報に期待していてほしい。この事件、人も女の子が助かっていたのか。さっき見かけた赤い服を着た女の子の幽霊じゃないかどうして殺されなかったかで一緒にここにそうか。Really sure、何の幸せと不幸は隣り合わせ。安易に幸福を得ようとするには、それなりのリスク。うん
あなた方がこの学校に閉じ込められたのは幸せな幸子さんを。幸子さん。最後にみんなでやった。誰かが唱える回数を増やしたか減らしたか。人数分正しく唱えなかったのです。俺は確かに九回。しっかり唱えたはずだ。誰か失敗したのか。そのせいで。いや、そうじゃない。違う。No, I'm not gonna start blazing flame. This wasn't anyone's fault. 誰かのせいじゃない。Marishigi, whatever his name is. わざと。May have been on purpose. One of your friends probably, yeah. I wonder who. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly and didn't even bother to count. Maybe a misguided member of your group didn't want the fun to end, and we lost the charm in a vain attempt by prompting a do-over. No. Even if it wasn't on purpose, some of your friends have a tendency not to take things very seriously. No, it's not very inconceivable that they'd mess up. And they could say, "Oh well, it's not like I'll ever find be found out." Without even realizing that their actions would have ultimately damned you all. No one's owned up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends has said to you, "I screwed up. I'm so very sorry." Shut the hell up. My apologies. I suppose. あなたはまだ持っているようですね。それをしっかり手に握って、思ってみたあなたの大事な人たちの。Sorry, to cut this short, but I'm in a bit of a hurry here. I seem to have gotten separated from my little sister, and there's still some other people I need to find soon. Such concern for your friends and all the impulses that go with it, throwing your heart into action, it's truly a noble sentiment. That's all charms really are, you know. They represent one's regard for other people. They're like microcosms. それが愛情であれ、憎しみであれ、思いが強ければ、じないはパワーを発揮するのです。ブレンド・マース・ホック。フリジデ・スイー・ボール。体が焼けるように熱い。ボール・ツイード・フリジデ。私たちの邪魔をする者は許しません。苦しみ抜くといいわ。行きなさい。思い人のもとへ。もう遅いかもしれませんけど。<笑>To uh, where <clears throat> my fast forward to uh, what is it? <clears throat> It's a lot of dialogue too. I'll fast forward to the Victor memoir. So yeah, be right back. And we're back. Victor memoir is five out of five. <laughs> Looks like I'll be dying soon, so I'm going to try to keep my fingers steady. Just one last time. 
The bleeding never stopped, and I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, we never did find one another here. Find one another here. And unless you can magically pop out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Mitsuharu, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpass me in any very way, always one step ahead, no matter what we're doing. I kept telling myself at some point I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. And I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. If I should dream in death, though... And then, I know I'm going to see you when I turn the next this cor next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. We can beat up on each other like we used to. And I'll never be al alone again. <coughs> oh god, my head, huh? <sighs> the wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entire body. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. His movements weren't his own, as if his body, his mind were disconnected from his body, with no perception of surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden dip jarred his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses, with no direction or control. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse, by the wave of negativity that permeated this space, far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig skipping across the ground in a windstorm. Without warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a virtually lobotomized state. Damn. It seems the remnants of a man's tormented soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message and the curse it carried, certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once a boy named Satoshi. Womp womp. Alright. Okay, that's... Okay, that's, off. that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, we're saving that. Nice. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode off here. Next time in Corpse Party, we're gonna begin Chapter 4. And see what happens. Hopefully Yuka's okay and run away from Kiz uh, uh, Kimaki, I think his name is. I forget. Kimazi, I think. Either way, he's crazy. We just realized that now. And everything is crazy. And it wants to kill us. So, yeah. See you guys then.